day 512 of running a badminton channel and I'm still trying to answer the onslaught of racket questions. My arthritis has reached peak levels, I was losing hope, but when all seemed lost, I had a brilliant idea. Just make a video answering the question once and for all. Huh, that makes my life easier. There are hundreds of different rackets on the market, but filtering it down to the one racket that'll suit you best really just comes down to three main factors. The first is balance, or in other words, the weight distribution of the racket. A racket can be head heavy, which means it has more weight distributed at the head. It can be head light, which means it has more weight distributed by the handle, or it can be balanced, which means the weight lies somewhere in between. Weight distribution affects two things, the power and maneuverability of the racket. To explain how this works, let's demonstrate with a simple everyday object. A sledgehammer. If I hold the sledgehammer this way, it resembles a head heavy racket because all of the weight is on this side. So when I swing, it's very easy to generate power. Let's use this watermelon as our test subject. It's very easy to generate power on my swing. <laughs> now, if I hold the sledgehammer this way, which resembles a head light racket because all of the weight is on the handle end, suddenly it becomes a lot harder to generate power. There just isn't very much momentum in my swing. It's not happening. This shows that the more head heavy your racket is, the better it will be at generating power. This will result in faster smashes and more effortless clears from the rear court. But the trade-off for this is maneuverability. The extra momentum that makes it so powerful also makes it much harder to control. Let's take a look at this rapid tapping motion, which is used when the shuttle is being driven back and forth in fast flat exchanges. If I use the head heavy sledge hammer, it becomes very difficult to do this because of the momentum. This is pretty much as nimble as I can get. But if I turn it around and use the head light version, suddenly it becomes very easy. I have complete control over this sledgehammer and it's incredibly nimble. So the more head light your racket is, the more nimble it will be. This makes it sharper in situations where quick reflexes are required, like fast flat exchanges or defensive shots. The next big factor is stiffness. You must understand the scientific derivation. The stiffness of a material is given by its Young's modulus, defined as sigma over epsilon, where sigma is given in megapascals and epsilon is a unitless constant. Just kidding. Stiffness is basically just how much the shaft of a racket tends to bend. A stiff racket won't bend very much, while a flexible racket will bend a lot. To understand why this matters, take a look at this video of Olympic champion Chen Long hitting a smash, and notice how the shaft of his racket bends as he hits the shot. The bend is created from the fast acceleration of the racket. It's important because it creates a sort of whip effect that adds power to your shots and makes them more efficient. Here's where it gets interesting. A stiff racket has more energy when you whip it, so it makes this effect more powerful, which is a good thing. But it's harder for a player to create that whip effect because the stiffer a racket is, the less it bends. So the player needs to be able to accelerate their racket a lot faster to create that bend during a swing. Generating this racket speed is not easy to do, even without a shuttle. Think of an archer with a bow and arrow. If the string is very tight, which represents a stiff racket, it will shoot the arrow a lot further. But if it's so tight that the archer isn't strong enough to even pull it back in the first place, it wouldn't go anywhere. So a looser string, which represents a flexible racket, might be better. That means the stiffness of your ideal racket depends on how much racket head speed you're able to generate in your swing. The faster you are, the stiffer the racket you'll be able to tame. The final factor is the weight. Racket weights are defined by the U system from one through five, where a lower number indicates a heavier weight. Realistically though, the only racket weights viable for general play are three U and four U. The weight of a racket also has a trade-off between power and maneuverability. With a heavier racket, you can put more weight behind your shots, which means more power but the added weight makes it harder to control. In general, you'll see singles players use heavier rackets. The pace of rallies is slower in singles. Even though singles is extremely grueling, the demands are mostly on speed of footwork as opposed to speed of racket. The number of shots per second is lower, so players can take advantage of the extra power that heavier rackets grant. Doubles takes place at a much faster pace. There's a lot of flat exchanges that happen at breakneck speeds, and there's twice as many players hitting on court. So in order to keep up, 
doubles players tend to use lighter rackets as the extra power isn't as important as their ability to rapidly manipulate the racket in between shots. The other consideration to make is your own physical strength. Younger or weaker players might want to look for a lighter racket. Those are the three big factors that will determine which racket will be best for you. But we still haven't gotten to the most important part of the video yet. Sure, you've just learned a lot of theory, but how do you actually choose a racket? In the age of information overload, we have too many choices and simplifying it to just one option will save you a lot of headaches. That's why I've created an interactive racket selector that will choose out a racket personalized for you. Just answer a few multiple choice questions about yourself and our algorithm will use that data to match you with the perfect racket that suits your game and complements your strengths as a badminton player. It's free to use and gives you results instantly, so click the link in the description to find your perfect racket today. And maybe with enough time, my arthritis might finally heal.